Okay, so believe it or not, I'm still using the Logitech Harmony One. Um, I still find this to be the best hardware out there for my needs. Uh, maybe I'll try some of the other Harmony remotes in the future, but for now I'm sticking with this. Um, I just want to point out that you can press quit all. This will quit all the media applications and it actually changes the desktop to 720p. Um, this way you can read the text if you're using the television as an actual computer. Um, if you're running a media application of any sort, like Plex or Spotify or Netflix, um, it will switch to 1080p, which is kind of nice. I also want to point out that if I quit all again, and let's say I turn off the entire system when I go to sleep at night, um, this actually, t believe it or not, it turns off the TV, it leaves the receiver on, so audio can come out the speakers, and it turns on Plex. Um, Plex has AirPlay built in, so when if someone walks into the house, they'll see on their iOS device that there is a AirPlay device called Clusterbox, and they can stream audio to it, even if the TV and system is turned off. So I use it when I'm around the house, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to turn on the TV. And so cluster, excuse me, uh, Plex is already up, which is nice. There we go. And I'll play a TV show really quickly. Let's play Anthony Bourdain. So these are all 1080p and 720p. They're all HD video files. We'll talk about how I download them in a little bit. Um, I also want to point out the lighting effects that I've installed. So these are open source LED systems, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, copy them in the YouTube video. But check out the LEDs, kind of cool. Okay, so that was the LEDs, pretty nifty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video that's playing back, and let's go to Netflix. So I use XBMC for Netflix now. Um, I also use XBMC for Hulu, Pandora, and Spotify. I do not use Boxy anymore. Um, they've fallen off the map, frankly. Um, so this is the Netflix plugin in XBMC. I'll log into my account so different people in the family can use Netflix, which is nice. Um, I'll go to latest, sure. Uh, How I Met Your Mother, just kind of making this up as I go. Let's go to season three, episode four. And this is kind of tricky. Uh, XBMC has a plugin that will launch Chrome and it passes the URL to the Netflix video into Chrome. Chrome will then full screen itself. It makes itself the primary window. Uh, and it just begins playing back through the Netflix uh, uh, web application that we're all used to on the laptop. Um, so this is the only workaround that I could find for a Netflix solution. It was a pain in the butt to build, if I'm being honest. But um, it works in the long run. And, uh, you know, it, it, it does the trick. So I'll go ahead and hit stop. And that will actually tell Chrome to quit. It goes back to XBMC. And uh, we'll demonstrate some other things. Whoops, I'm pressing buttons I shouldn't be. OK. So let's go back to the main screen. Um, let's, uh, let's do Spotify. So uh, Spotify. Pretty straightforward, launches the Spotify plugin. In case you guys are wondering how I'm calling these plugins, um, I've changed the XBMC key map file so that when you press the letter S on your keyboard, it calls the plugin. So basically all these buttons are doing is pressing the letter S, H, P, and N. 
and before pressing that key, they're making sure that XBMC is running. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is a uh, Spotify. Play some Johnny Cash, sure. Yeah. Anyway, works just like you'd expect. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, quit all. And I just want to demonstrate what it's like to switch back and forth between uh, Plex and uh, XBMC. So this is a, a good point. I want to talk about um, when applications get upset. If you press and hold the menu button, it brings up this menu. Um, and you can force quit. So I'm going to force quit XBMC. Um, I'm not ashamed to say that sometimes things don't work perfectly, but I've built in fail safes, which is nice. Um, so here we are back at our desktop. XBMC is quit. Let's go to Plex. And let's uh, let's go to Hulu now, right? Um, so it quits Plex. It goes to XBMC. Um, it waits for XBMC to load. It presses the letter H. And here you are in Hulu. Um, let's go to recently added. Uh, sure, recently added episodes. That's a lot of episodes to bring up. Sorry, guys. It's a long list. 71,721 videos. <laughs> uh, I don't know if these are actually accessible from my account. Let's see. Uh, oh, and ask you what quality you want. Um, let's do. Sure. Actually, never seen that before. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and stop Hulu. So that's a uh, that's the the couch experience, I should say. Um, let's go ahead and quit all. Cool, uh, so now let's go and uh, talk about the web server.